okay, if you want to make filthy bass noises, FM8 is an absolutely excellent synth, and you can use it for making kind of sort of vocal style growls and sort of transformer noises that have uh, become popular in sort of a uh, more sort of tear out dubstep. So start with FM8 in its default state and click the expert button to open the modulation matrix view. We want to modulate operator F with operator E. So drag up in the box under operator E so that it reads 100, then right click operator E to activate it. Left click it so that we can see its amplitude envelope. Change the shape of the waveform to triangle by dragging up on the waveform shape. Let's put a little bit of attack on there, but we want it to sustain the maximum level still. And we also want to hear this operator in the output, so drag up its raw output to 100 in the output row of the modulation matrix. Now this gives us a really basic FM modulated sign with a straightforward triangle underpinning it. Next, click the master section. We want to use a load of voices for this, so drag the polyphony in unison voice parameters up to 40. Um, you, you're going to want to turn your output down because that's going to make this really, really loud as well. So before you play any notes, turn it down. Set the detune to 11 and set the pan to maximum. This gives us a quite tight detune that's panned wide to get as much stereo width as possible. Now the next step is where the magic happens. Drag the digital quality slider up to 100. Now this is the secret ingredient that gives the sound its kind of rasping, growly vocal quality. If you want a little bit more of an organic feel and a bit more stereo movement, try dragging the analog quality fader up to 24. Next we want to route the audio through FM8 saturator, so turn off the direct outs for ENF and route them through operator X, which is the saturator and noise generator instead. Use the same values, 180, um, set operator X's output level to 50, so we're sure we're not going to clip anything. Running the audio through the saturator roughs it up a little bit, um, so set the level to 100 and then open the effects section. Activate the overdrive and peak EQ effects. Set the overdrive's drive, tone and bass parameters to 100 and use the EQ to boost the highs and lows. Currently the sound stops very abruptly so you can kind of you can manually deal with this by turning up the release of each of the envelopes or you can just use the uh, envelope um, amplitude envelope in the easy section uh, to do that as well turn up the release time there a little tip here you can get a bit, bit of a different field sound by using operator E to self modulate um, turn it up to 40 to add a bit more character to the sound <laughs> Okay, that's all well and good, um, and obviously that's uh, an interesting sound in itself, but there's plenty of places you can go from here. Let's just look at one kind of uh, variation on this noise. Um, bring up the pitch envelope and set it to drop in pitch over a kind of like a second with an amplitude envelope level of 25, and set the operator E envelope attack time to about a second too. Try turning up the mod wheel while you play this to get an interesting chorus effect on it as well. <laughs> 